The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us to beware of two things a vulm, oppression, and a shuh, stinginess or miserliness. And these two things are extremely dangerous, extremely dangerous. How you treat other people, you might not realize how you oppress them. Right? We, we, you might think something is minor. You drive and you block someone's driveway, right? If you're coming to the masjid on Friday, there's no parking, you're late, and you want to get in, and so you block somebody's driveway. Yeah, you might have oppressed somebody. That might be oppression. Person needs to leave, person needs to go to work. You're in the masjid listening to a khutbah and praying and getting in all your extra prayers afterwards, chatting with the brothers, and you're making someone late for work. Maybe someone gets fired from their job. God forbid they have an emergency and they have to get to the hospital. You've oppressed this person. What are we going to say? Oh, that was the will of Allah. Of course it was the will of Allah. Everything's the will of Allah, but you oppressed that person. And oppression is major. You're going to have to see it on the day of judgment unless you make it right and repent. Stinginess. Stinginess is a huge thing. Stinginess is such a problem in Islam because it is offensive to Allah because it assumes that there's not enough to go around. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us time and time again that there is enough to go around and He is the one who controls how much you have and He's already determined how much you're going to get. Nothing you do in this life is going to be able to change your bank account a single cent. And so then to be stingy on top of that is showing that you don't trust Allah. And it's hard, it's difficult. But it is so central to our religion that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi warned us about it. He said, beware, beware of oppression and beware of stinginess.